so hey welcome back to the cabin um today we're just gonna be working on things that i feel like makes it more comfortable more of a home feel um and we're also gonna be working on some insulation trim stuff like that we did get the stuff to um run the water the waters are the water lines already done it's just the feedings i guess is what you'd call it to go inside the house um, for the sink and then we'll hook up the shower and everything but um hope you enjoy the video so there's the water line and then our sink is about right there and we're gonna be i didn't realize how expensive the f actual feeding is to run the water inside the home I, f just to plumb our sink the feedings, that's not even talking about the drain pipe and everything, was like $80. So, a lot more expensive than I thought it would be. And we still have to do the shower and the bathroom sink once we get it in. So I'm trying to figure out how to situate this sectional so it's not like taking up all the floor space. Um, I think I'm gonna go around this front wall and back around that wall if it'll work. putting felt paper in between the living room wall and the bathroom wall and then we're gonna put insulation in here too insulation this is the living room wall and the bathroom wall so So Keith is trimming out the kitchen window. What size is those pieces of trim? Hmm. One by four. We got the insulation put in the bathroom and we are going I want this um, so for this bathroom um, we are going to make it look like a I'm in my mind like an old farmhouse bathroom um, the bottom part up to four foot is going to be ten and then we're going to use like the old uh, boards to run I think we're going um, we're gonna run the boards like up and down and we're gonna put this on the floor we're gonna put this on the floor the 12 inch pine boards we've got enough to do it but it's not we're not ready to do it yet but um 
this is like my inspiration for this bathroom. I love the old timey, um, that's a wash tub. Let's see, I don't know if I'll leave it hanging on the wall or not. It may go outside on the porch wall, but, um, and the, the size of this bathroom is a six by 10. So we're just doing a stand up shower, toilet, um, sink. And I don't know if I'll do like a stackable washer and dryer in here or if I will. I really don't want to put one in my pantry because I want my pantry to be all pantry. I'm, that is the most, that is the room I'm most excited about is my pantry. Um, I want to display all my, sorry, case sawing. I want to display my hard work. I can, and I think it is so pretty, um, all your canned food displayed. And I've never really had a place to display it really pretty. And Keith's going to build me some custom shelves. And, um, but it's coming along here. I'm getting excited. And you can tell the wind is bad today. My hair's a mess. Okay, so Keith got the trim put around the kitchen window. I feel like trim just makes everything look so much better. for watching. I hope you have a blessed day and uh, thank you for choosing to be a part of our family.